initially you, you, we have qualifiers to, uh, to get the elite, the elite stages, which is where we are now. Um, it's the first time, I believe, in our history that we've qualified two teams together uh, at under 17 and under 19 level, so we're extremely proud of that. Um, so we're now, we're now down to the seeded groups where um, we're playing against basically the, the, the highest seeded, highest rankings in, in Europe. Um, under 19s have three games against France, uh, Romania and Norway. Um, you know, the, some of the players that we're, we're going to be facing is, is, is unbelievable, but again, it's we're not going to have any fear. We're going to go there, as I always stress, and put in all Ireland performances, you know, and, and, and really be good and, and competitive and enjoy enjoy the challenge. Under 17s, again, extremely hard group. You know, they have England, uh, they've got Holland, and they have Denmark in their group. Uh, and and like, like every year, you know, a lot of people will write us off. A lot of people will be expecting anything, but, you know, we'll, we'll be going sort of quietly doing our own business and, and preparing really well and, and, and giving a good go and a good account of ourselves. No, obviously I'm buzzing and know all the lads are buzzing as well. Uh, <clears throat> to get through to the elite rounds is, you know, a very good achievement for us and I think it's what we deserved. You know, we've been playing together as a team now for about a year, year and a half. But even whenever we're younger, we've all kind of been with each other from maybe 11 and 12, so we know each other really well. And uh, it's what we've deserved. We've, we've, we've won against some good teams, we've played some good football, so I think uh, it's just all the boys are really looking forward to it. We always, we always knew that the 2004s, you know, the, the group we've had, have, have always been a, a really good group uh, of talented boys. Um, and it was always difficult picking, you know, a 20-man squad because of the other amount that we had that sort of left behind. So, unfortunately, we we had I think we counted up to six players who who would probably potentially be starters in, in all the games. We've lost them through injury, which is unfortunate, but. You know, the way we look at it, on the positive side, it gives opportunities to the, the, the bunch of talented other players who you would probably would have just missed out, you know, if they had been available. But say now we, we have we've still in my eyes, you know, we've still got a strong squad there. Look forward to the, the, the ten days away and and really putting our wits against, you know, top nations and, and you know, it's exciting times obviously for, for our young lads and for our, our age groups to be part of this elite stage. Just the again play in another top level against top level opposition. Do you know what I mean? Uh, we're playing France, Norway and Romania, who are all three great crunchies. And uh, I think if we play our style and play our way, you know, we can compete with them. So just looking forward to that and just, you know, seeing how we compare to the best. It's where we should be. You know, it's, it's, it's why I was really interested in taking, um, you know, these jobs when, when they were available. There's a real sense of pride, obviously, that, you know, we are at this stage um, and the boys deserve it. You know, they've worked extremely hard in the last couple of years to get here. And, and we're going to be going and, and with the two groups of, of teams and players and we're going to go competitive, you know, we'll, we'll go, we're going out there, we're not going to make the numbers up, we'll give everything that we have, you know, prepared really well, uh, the coaching staff, the backroom staff, everyone, you know, as a team, have prepared really well, so we deserve to be here and, and long may I continue and certainly as long as I'm, I'm here working, you know, at these age levels, it, it's something that I'll be uh, trying my very best to make sure it happens every year. It means everything, so it does, you know, to play at your country, no matter what level it is, it's, uh, you know, you'd be very proud and, you know, your family would be proud of you as well. So, uh, you know, to put on the shirt every match, you just want to go out and win. And hopefully when we're over here, we can do that.